When you think active volcanoes, many Washingtonians' minds first go to Mount St. Helens. The tragic 1980 eruption took 57 lives, and the volcano remains on the U.S. Geological Survey's very high threat list. But the state is actually home to five active volcanoes. Mount Rainier ranking just under St. Helens as another very high threat. Mount Adams is considered high. All that is based on the impacts they could have. And it's why they're home to seismic monitoring stations, like those the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network and partners have installed across the region. When volcanoes are active in any way, and there's any kind of um, either, you know, magma moving inside them somewhere, or just simply um, the interaction of hot water and rock that creates cracks and fractures, the way we can listen to it is through seismic activity. They produce tiny earthquakes, most of them way too small for anybody to feel. Um, but that is like our stethoscope on a volcano is seismometers that can listen for that kind of activity, the cracking and, and rumbling that they produce. According to a release from the USGS, there is currently one at Mount Adams, but more will be installed after six earthquakes were detected in September. So one station allows us to tell if it's active. We definitely need, you know, two, three or more to start doing precise analysis in locations. Um, but I don't want people to think like we're not monitoring the volcano. We are. The U.S. Geological Survey said currently, quote, there is no indication that the level of earthquake activity is cause for concern. Tobin agrees and says if there are signs Mount Adams is headed that way, more monitoring would reveal it. For now, the new monitoring sites will be temporary under permits from the U.S. Forest Service. Reporting in the newsroom, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.